Hi, this is Seema and I'm back with a new lesson on American versus British English when you are dealing with housing vocabulary. So basically, we are going to deal with words or expressions that uh, we talk in the American English and in the British English when we are talking about uh, a house, for example, or things or equipments that are there in your house. Now, the funny thing is, if I'm living somewhere in England and if you are living in America, we might stay in the same kind of house and we might have the same kind of furniture or equipment in our houses, but the words used to describe them are very, very different. So let us see what the different words are. In American English, an apartment is basically a house which consists of a living room, uh, you know, a bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom. So it's basically a house in a building, okay? But this same kind of a house which is in a building in, in the UK or in England would be called a flat. So if I were in the UK, I can say, I live in a flat, but uh, someone in America would say, I live in an apartment, okay? Um, now, moving on to the rooms in a house, okay, which are uh, expressed quite differently. So if you were in America, the American way of saying is, can I go to the bathroom, okay? Now, a bathroom basically has a place where you can take a piss, which means you can urinate or pee, or you could take a dump. So a bathroom is a place wherein you do your makeup, you know, you could just comb your hair, take a piss, take a dump. But when you are in the UK, you use the word, uh, can I go to the toilet? So a toilet and a bathroom are two different you know, places you go to when you are in the UK, but a bathroom in the US is practically for everything. So you have a place to bathe and do the remainder of your things in a bathroom in the US, but in the UK, there are two different things. But nowadays, even in the UK English, they have started using the word bathroom instead of a toilet because toilet sounds a little bit impolite when you are using that word. Uh, and our next uh, room uh, is a living room in America. So what is a living room? The first room you enter into when you come into someone's house is a place where you um, sit you know, um, do all kinds of things like watch TV. Uh, this is also a place where you um, entertain visitors or guests in your house. So that is called the living room or the main room in a house. But uh, the same room in England or in the UK would be called a sitting room because that's practically where you sit. Uh, a lot of people also call it the drawing room. Oh, I have no reason why they call it the drawing room, but in the UK it could be called the sitting room or the drawing room, while in the US it is called a living room. And um, now when you go inside the bedroom, uh, obviously that's where you keep your clothes, don't you? But the Americans keep their clothes in a closet. So it's the place where you put your clothes or store your clothes. But the, the, uh, the English people call it the wardrobe. So you put the clothes in a wardrobe if you are in England, but you put the clothes in a closet if you are in America. Um, and then you have a shade. Now, what is a shade? Uh, uh, you know, near the windows, you may have a sheet of material that is used to block out the sunlight. So you say, please draw the shades. So it's a sheet of material to block the sunlight. 
and this is a sheet that is placed uh, adjacent to the window to kind of keep away the sunlight or to kind of you know give your room a very cozy feeling uh, to block out the excess light that that's coming in uh, but in the UK you would call it a roller blind so uh, if you were in England you would say please draw the, the roller blinds down because you know it's too it's too it's it's too bright so a shade and a roller blind that's the difference between the American way and the British way of saying it and our next word is uh, a blender which is called a mixer or a liquidizer in England well what is a blender or a mixer a blender or a mixer is um, a an equipment which is used to mix or you know just make really small pieces of uh, different kinds of food or any kind of ingredients that add up to making a particular dish so if you want to make a banana milkshake you kind of put uh, pieces of banana into the blender and kind of just mix it and get a nice paste and then add the milk to it so that's what a blender or a mixer does um, now uh, a clothes pin in America uh, is called a clothes peg in the UK and it is basically a a pin or a peg that is used to uh, make the clothes stay uh, in a line used to hang clothes rather so when your clothes are on a line uh, left to dry you know hanging out there to dry you you put you, you kind of put a clothes pin which is the word used to uh, you know uh, say that in America uh, but you can call it a clothes peg in the UK and uh, when you go to a bathroom or somewhere near the kitchen sink you will have a faucet so it's basically an outlet from from where the water comes out so it's, it's an outlet for the water to come out of so I can say turn off the faucet so that you don't waste water but in in the US in the UK you call that a tap so I say turn off the tap or turn on the tap okay and our next word is waste basket which is the place where you put the garbage or uh, shall I say the rubbish or maybe the trash but uh, in the UK it is called the waste bin so I can say put the garbage in the waste basket but in the UK I would say put the rubbish in the waste bin so garbage is basically a word you use in the US as compared to a rubbish which is used in the UK um, and uh, we have a word like a cot now this is a bed for a, for a baby So I can say the baby is asleep on the cot but in the UK we call that a crib so I can say that this crib is made for the baby. So that's the difference between the usage of the words cot and a crib when we are talking about a small little bed for a baby. And our next word or our next expression is the first floor or the ground floor. Now when you are living in a building okay you have several levels okay so the first floor in America is basically the ground level or the first level where the first bunch of flats are there but a ground floor is the same thing except that in the US it is called a first floor as opposed to calling it a ground floor in the UK All right so when you are living in the first floor in America you don't need to use the stairs and if you are living in a ground floor in the UK again you don't need to use the stairs and the funny thing is that the first floor in the UK is basically the floor above the ground floor if you know what that means so uh, our next expression is elevator as opposed to a lift in the UK so anything used to ride up So if you are trying to ride up 
uh, you know, two levels of floors or three levels of floors. Instead of taking the stairs, if you are lazy like me, in the US you will use an elevator, but in the UK you will use a lift. All right. Well, that's it from me on this lesson on American versus British English on housing vocabulary. I hope you found it very interesting. Well, thank you very much for watching and you take very good care of yourself. Thank you.